school. <laughs> We've got to do a Star Trek <laughs> toy review. <laughs> their most feared enemy. An improved breed of human. Evil beyond imagination. Your captain will die. I will take this ship. Witness the wrath of Khan. Khan Noonien Singh has appeared first in the classic episode Space Seed, mm. a genetically modified enhanced human who had been one of the rulers of the planet Earth back in the mid-90s wow. uh, during the eugenics wars. I remember then, that. Then fled the planet uh, when things went their way. And as we both remember, those were very dark times. They were very dark times. They were. I mean, we had Nirvana. Uh, it's just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I have five times your strength. You're a match for me. So first up we have the original Space Seed episode version of Khan. Mm. It's very well sculpted. It's done by Art Asylum and released as part of their classic Star Trek line that they had back in about 2003. Yes, his outfit is very, very different from what we see in the Wrath of Khan version. I think it's the, the jumpsuits that they're actually wearing when they're in suspended animation or are given when they get on board the Enterprise. Okay, so there is some kind of reasoning behind yeah. the outfit. Yeah. yeah. Bearing in mind, this was from a sort of mid-budget 1960s TV show. Yeah, so understandable. Yeah, very, very different from the sort of Mad Max-ish sort of <laughs> thing that we get in Star Trek 2. Mm. But it's, it's very good in terms of reflecting how Ricardo Montfan looked at that time. Captain, although your abilities intrigue me, you are quite honestly inferior. Why? I doubt you would understand. Khan obviously made a, a huge impact back in that TV series mm. to the point where they decided to bring him back yep. for the second movie. <laughs> and looking at the toy version of him here, he looks way different, doesn't he? Very, very different. The idea is that between his appearance in the TV show and the movie, he's been stranded on this planet um, with him and his followers, yeah. um, including his wife. Uh, she's died. There's been an ecological disaster, and yeah. the planet has turned into basically hell on Earth. Mm. Right, and he blames Kirk for all of this, doesn't Absolutely. he? And he wants revenge. revenge! I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her, marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. The outfit he's wearing in this, you mentioned Mad Max. Yeah. I think Mad Max had made a bit of a splash at the time. Um, yeah. Especially Mad Max 2 was of that, uh, probably the same year, or maybe the probably. year before. It, it might have been too close to actually have a direct influence. But certainly you can see it's, it's in the cultural zeitgeist at the time. Yeah, I think there were quite a lot of, quite a lot of uh, movies at that time that had that kind of look, didn't yeah. they? The sort of dark leather and the single glove and chains and yeah. Yeah, big um, heavy boots and all that kind of thing. But. And let's not forget the open shirt so you can see those amazing pecs that Ricardo <laughs> Montalban had into his 60s. Which were not fake, they weren't prosthetic, they were Completely the real Completely <laughs> him. It's scary, <laughs> but dang, it worked for the character. <laughs> So I think Khan was Ricardo Montalban's greatest role. Absolutely, and <laughs> I dare say one of the greatest villains of the 80s. Absolutely. Uh, what do you guys think of these two toys and about Khan himself? Let us know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going beyond for now, but we'll be back. Mm -hmm.